if you need things, if this, because they believe that this is going to last through the end of the year. All right. They don't see a relief coming. Probably be a good habit and a good idea if to fuel prior to entering the following states, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey. So on Friday, I pull into my Walmart for my delivery and I get back there and it was like a traffic jam, huge traffic jam. And it's like a convoy back there. I'm like, what is going on? The problem is it wasn't all the regular vendors. It was all the Walmart trucks pulling in there. Now there was two that were from Swift and two that were from Walmart, meaning the tractors and the companies that are pulling the trailers. And I'm like, what is, I've never seen that many trucks pulling in there. Now this particular Walmart that I delivered to has a total of eight bays, eight doors out back. Now it's a pretty good sized Walmart. So I find a place to park and I load up my stuff on a hand truck and I take it into the building. And I get in there to the shipping and receiving manager and the yeah. shipping and receiving manager, I'm like, what is going on? I said, I've never seen anything like this. Maybe at Christmas years ago, <laughs> you know, not in the past couple of years, but you know, three, four years ago. Yeah. I mean, they used to get pummeled with the stuff, you know, the receiving manager tells me what they're doing is, is they're bringing in products. Now it's not all food products here, folks. So this is key. This is the key point. Because of the upcoming diesel crisis that we're approaching over the next week or two, where they're going to be running extremely low or out in, in places, they're bringing all these products, they're trying to move them and get them into some of these stores and everything else, but it's not all food products. It's very actually little food products from what the manager was telling me. What they're bringing in is what I saw them unloading with my own eyes. All right. And like microwaves, they're bringing in like ACs, pallets, um, housewares. Um, they're bringing in like the furniture products and that type of stuff and all that. I didn't see them unloading any type of food products. Now being what? is with this whole diesel crisis that is coming up, this is going to get really ugly, really quick folks. And unfortunately, um, you know, there's just a, a lot of stuff that is taking place all up and down the coast along the Northeast. And you all need to pay pretty close attention to this. Diesel prices are at all time high. Gas prices are all time high. And you're saying, you're saying, hey, you know, my car runs on gas. What, what does this concern me? Well, remember the tanker trucks come to the gas stations and deliver the gas. Those are diesel. So I'm going to read you something here real quick. Now, this was a message that was sent. Um, my buddy that is a independent truck driver and he has, they have a computer system in the truck and they receive, you know, important messages about roads, um, all this kind of different stuff. And this is a message that he did receive. And it said, attention, all drivers hearing from loves, which is a large truck stop that they expect diesel shortages to hit some of their Eastern U S stores in the coming week. And it also goes on to say that they'll do their best to keep an eye on the situation and remove any stores from the fuel solutions app as they hear about them. Now this must be an app that he has that tells him the prices of the fuel at different truck stops and availability. Then once I left Walmart and got on down my route a little bit, I hit my um, car audio store. Now it is a, a huge place and I haven't been in there in a while because they haven't been able to get anything. And I had like four or five boxes for them. It's the first time I had a big delivery. I go in there. I was like, Hey, you guys are finally starting to get some goods and stuff in, huh? And he was like, no, he says, they're just ordering what is available. Everything else is all on back order. They have no idea when they're ever going to get it. And he was proceeding to tell me that he was also in contact with his main shipper 
of the car audio parts and speakers and amps and stereo systems and EQs and all that stuff all comes from California. And they told him that what they have in stock is what they're going to have. It's going to get really bad towards the end of the year because a lot of this stuff is all made in China. All your stereo equipment, all that kind of stuff, it's all made in China. They've been on lockdowns now for God knows how long and doesn't look like it's going to ease up at all. And so they told him, if there's stuff that you want to buy that's comparable to what you were looking for, you might want to buy it now while we still have it in stock because once it's gone, the warehouse is going to be empty. What does that tell you, folks? And even if they do get the goods in there, if all of a sudden this whole diesel Christ thing starts pushing all across the country, we're in a world of hurt. What does that tell you, folks? I mean, this is just getting, um, this is just getting crazy. You know, this whole diesel thing, um, now, parts of the, the, the Northeast, the, the diesel prices are up like 63% to $5.90 a gallon. It is just really going all in the wrong way. Now, what can we do? If you need things, if this, because they believe that this is going to last through the end of the year. All right. They don't see a relief coming. And you're saying, oh, it's on the East Coast. It's going to slowly, they're saying that's where it's going to start. And it's going to slowly start working its way across the country. Now, they have said that they're going to try to bring fuel in from the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and bring fuel, truck it in, or put it on trains, and try to bring fuel into the fuel depots so that they can try to keep some fuel rolling the whole idea of this folks is we use a lot a lot of fuel per day now you have to remember there's a lot of things more than trucks that use diesel fuel you have trucks you have trains you have barges you know they consume on a daily basis 122 million gallons of diesel per day that's a lot. And where this is going, um, we don't know. They don't know where the end is in sight. They're warning all truck drivers that prices are going to be escalating even higher than what they are now at record highs now. How much more can these poor truckers take before it is too late? You have stores like Walmart now that are trying to stockpile probably goods and stuff that they're going to be able to put on the shelves because they may not have trucks coming in on their quote normal basis because of the fuel shortages. They may have to cut back and Lord only knows how long it's going to take to get things into the stores. Now, the Total. one's game changer for all of us. And it's supposed to be starting within the next week, the two weeks. They're running out of fuel. This is going to affect everybody. This will affect not only Walmart. This will affect Target. This will affect all your major grocery food chains. This will affect FedEx. UPS, the post office. Now, UPS, I, I do know UPS has a lot of natural gas trucks now. They've converted everything over and they've been trying, at least down here in the south, they've been trying to convert from diesel to natural gas, but still have a lot of diesel trucks. Um, a lot of the package cars and stuff are gas. Um, we do have a few electric vehicles, but those can only go up to about 100 miles a day. So they have to be on routes that are actually close to the building because yeah, there's no way to charge them. 
It's going uh, to affect everything, folks, and you really need to start paying attention to what is taking place, and you need to start being prepared. You need to really heed the warning. If there's things out there that you need because prices are only going to be going up, I don't care what they tell you. The higher that diesel price goes, the higher this inflation goes, it's just getting worse. Nobody wants to deal with the situation at all. And what are we left with? We're left with us footing the bill and having to pay even more money at the pump, more money at the store, more money for groceries, and don't even get me going on the baby formula that is all of a sudden not even around anymore. You got to do something, folks. You got to try to be prepared as much as possible. Try um, starting off with your basic necessities and everything else and then take it from there. And things are costing you a hell of a lot more money right now than they were even just six months ago. So it's going to be very difficult to try to put stuff away. Um, I wouldn't highly suggest using credit cards or anything else, but I guess if things get bad enough, you may have to. It's not one of my top picks, but when it comes to your safety and your security for you and your family, you're going to have to do what you got to do. So I'm survival preparedness for beginners. I wanted to bring you this inside information that I did receive on Friday while I was on my route. And I just want you to be aware of the situation and what is taking place. So until next time, folks, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.